Yeah, again, this is one of those weird things where like social media has just taken on this idea that women, especially postmenopausal women, should not do zone two. And I always like to try to steel man the claim that's sort of ridiculous. The basis for this claim is probably that women have a higher proportion of oxidative uh, muscle fibers, so type one muscle fibers, given the anabolic challenges of estrogen loss and testosterone reduction post-menopause, a woman's time is apparently better spent on resistance training to help her with her type two fibers and lean mass. I agree with all of that. But again, we shouldn't ever think of exercise in, in just a straight zero sum way. And in particular, when it comes to the trade-off between uh, resistance training and aerobic training. The short answer I would have to that is, it's important to do both. I suppose if someone said a woman is only going to make one hour a week for activity, should she do zone two or should she be in the gym? I, I would agree, I suppose, at that point. She should be pushing as much weight as she can possibly move if she only has one hour. Uh, but what I would say to her if she was my patient is, this is such a high priority. Let's make more than one hour available so we can give you a well-rounded training program. Moving to the other end of cardiorespiratory workouts, you have kind of hit zone five VO2 max training. So you've mentioned in the past that the preferred intervals for VO2 max training are gonna be three to eight minutes. We do get questions around, you know, how effective are shorter intervals, let's say under three minutes in improving VO2 max? 